GPS trackers. Well, we have a new one, a new Monimoto 7. Let's talk about it. Hey everybody, welcome back to Cruise Man's Reviews. Today we're going to talk about the brand new Monimoto 7. Uh, you may remember that I reviewed the previous Monimoto GPS tracker, I don't know, a year or so ago. And uh, I can't wait to get into this and we're going to open up the box and unbox it and see what's inside and I'll throw it on the bike and we're going to test it out. But before we get to that, I just want to remind you that if you haven't done so already and you're passionate about motorcycles, please take a second to subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's completely free. It doesn't cost anything. And uh, you can click that little bell icon, let YouTube know that you want to get notified when we come out with new videos, which we do quite often. So if you like motovlogs and uh, product reviews, installation videos, just general motorcycle stuff, uh, please subscribe. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, too. So let's talk about the brand new Monimoto 7. It says 7 here on the package, so I'm assuming that's what it is. You can see it here. It may be kind of dark. I'm not sure if you can see that in the camera or not. Um, let's open it up, see what's in, see what's inside. I see there's a little tag here. So let's uh, get the knife out and slice it open. It's mine now. Oh, and by the way, this video is not sponsored by Monimoto, but they did send me this Monimoto 7 to test and review, but no money exchanged hands. They're not paying for this review. So um, I'll just tell you what I think about it. So anyway, let me see how we open this. It says to push from this side, push here. Okay. I don't know what that means. Push here. It doesn't seem to be going anywhere. I don't know why. There we go. I have so much trouble unboxing things, but I seem to struggle with it more than most. There's some information on the back of the box here. Um, I think it's just telling you some of the features. I'll read through them real quick. Bluetooth, two-year warranty, GPS built-in, eSIM is integrated into the system. This model is 4G compatible. The previous Monimoto, which looks like this right here, it's this little kind of a tube looking thing. This was only 3G compatible. The problem with that is that 3G is going away very quickly, maybe the end of this year. So they had to update their product to basically make it compatible with what the, the new cellular systems are going to be. Uh, let's see, what else does it say? Dust and water resistant, IP65, so it's IPX rated. It has uh, AA lithium 1.5 volt batteries included. Now that's different than this model. This model had a different style of battery. Um, I'm not sure if I can get this open or not. But it had a, an unusual uh, battery, and it had two of them. Uh, they're a little bit bigger and fatter, and it'll be interesting to see what the battery life is of these AA lithium batteries, and they do include the batteries. It says low maintenance, uh, does still comes with the proximity key fob, and it can call your cell phone. So if it detects that your motorcycle is in motion or being tampered with, it will actually make a phone call. It'll actually call you on the phone. It's kind of nice. And um, here it tells you uh, to start, uh, download the Monimoto app. Now, I have the app on my cell phone already uh, from the previous Monimoto. I'm not sure if it updated automatically. We'll find out when I run out to the bike. But I do have it on my iPhone. I believe they also have Android. So let's just see what this looks like. It's a completely different form factor than what they had before. See if I can get it out of the box. 
I don't know why unboxing just seems to. There we go. This looks like a. Oh, those are like little uh, cable ties. You can see there. Okay. So this is the model now, and let's compare it to the old, older model. Close this up. You can see the difference in size there. Uh, it looks to me, I actually think it's smaller. I think it's going to be easier to mount this because it's so thin. It has a flatter form factor, and uh, you can see it from the side. This one's sitting up or like that. Uh, I think it's a better design, actually. Uh, I could actually slip this in my glove box uh, on the Goldwing and just lay it flat. They, they do recommend that you have the antenna facing up, and I believe the logo here on top is the antenna. So you'd want it sitting flat like this if you can, and it should give better performance. So for testing purposes, uh, I could either put this in my trunk or you could put it in the bottom of a saddlebag. I don't know how it would act if you pile stuff on top of it. Uh, maybe put it on the top of the saddlebag, attach it to the, the roof of your saddlebag. And you could also uh, just set it in the glove box if you have a glove box. Now, if, if you have a Goldwing uh, 2018 or later or even earlier, uh, you could put it in a glove box. If you have an airbag model, then you'd probably have to put it in the trunk. Uh, if you have another type of motorcycle, uh, you can just figure out where to place it. You could put it underneath your seat. Um, you could do that on the Goldwing as well, just as long as it's in a more or less upright facing up position like this. Now, that's compared to the Monimoto. And you also have, or the older Monimoto, you also have the key fob, which comes with it. I'm trying to see what else comes with this. I'll just tear this apart. Nice packaging, by the way. Uh, it does actually have some documentation, or there's the little key fob. And so it comes with some pretty extensive um, documentation, instructions. Uh, it's that, you know, one-point font that somebody my age have a hard time reading without reading glasses. But I can actually read it barely. Okay. You know me. I don't read directions. Um, I just look for a YouTube video. But the key fob, the way this system works is the unit is constantly looking for this key fob. Now you can keep this on your keychain, you can keep it in your motorcycle jacket if you wear it all the time when you ride. Uh, basically it just needs to be on your person when you're riding. And if it detects this key fob in proximity to the GPS transmitter, it basically just says you're okay. You know, it, the bike's not being stolen. But once you walk away with this in your pocket, once you walk away from the bike after so many feet, the GPS tracker will then arm itself and any motion to the motorcycle or disruption or if it starts moving, then the system will call you on the phone and let you know uh, that your bike is moving. It may also send you a text. It'll update the app to show you the GPS coordinates of where the motorcycle is. And we're going to check all that out when we get this out, put it on the bike, and test it out. And then I think really we're about ready to do that right now. So let's get to the garage. I decided before we go out to the garage that I'm going to open this up and look inside and see kind of what we have as far as batteries because this little door does open. What's interesting is it claims to be IP rated, but there's no, I don't see a rubber seal anywhere, which is kind of interesting. Uh, it has the two Energizer Lithium. These are the Ultimate Lithium batteries. I think these are the top of the line batteries for uh, from Energizer. And then you basically remove this to activate the system. It you know, has it blocked when you first get it. So, and, and you can now see a light is flashing uh, periodically on the unit. Or I saw, I thought I saw a flash. Maybe it only when I moved it, maybe it flashed. Anyway, I did see a flash. But I'm, I'm curious as to how this is IP67 rated if there's no rubber seal because this little trap door back here just is just plastic on plastic. 
but I'll take their word for it. It, it certainly doesn't certainly doesn't feel uh, moisture proof. I can actually also see a little gap. Oh, I take it back. There is a little rubber seal around the battery compartment. Okay, so I was wrong. If you look closely, maybe you can see it. Maybe not. It's all black on black. There actually is a little rubber seal uh, surrounding the battery compartment, and I assume any electronics are underneath that. So, okay, I can see now how this is um, moisture proof and, and so on. So now let's get to the garage. For this test, I have placed my Monimoto GPS tracker right here on top of everything in my glove box. Uh, probably not the best place to store it permanently, but that's just for this testing purpose. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test this Monimoto. Basically, I've put the key fob back in the house and I'm gonna steal my motorcycle right around the block and we're going to see how long it takes this Monimoto to notify me uh, that the motorcycle has been stolen. So I'm going to set this GoPro down in front of my camera, or actually in front of my phone, which has a stopwatch, and we'll just see how long it takes. Well, as you can see, it took just about 50 seconds for the Monimoto system to alert me that the motorcycle was in motion. Now, if we take a look at the Monimoto app, you'll see a variety of different alerts. The newest ones are at the top, and the second one from the top is the original alarm from today's test. A second alarm came in just a few seconds after that, and if I click on the GPS coordinates, I can see the exact location of my motorcycle. It's pretty cool. So how much does the Monimoto 7 cost? Well, the Monimoto 7 with the fob is $199. You can purchase additional or replacement key fobs for $39. Two months of GSM service comes with the Monimoto, and after that, it's $49 a year. This new Monimoto 7 with 4G capability is now available through my Amazon page. I'll put a link in the description below. Now, if you like this video, I would appreciate it if you'd click that little thumbs up underneath the video. It really does help the channel. Thanks again for joining me today on Cruise Man's Garage.